بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله إن حلقة رمضانية we want to remind ourselves about the importance of the Qur'an during the holy month of Ramadan and the importance of having a heart that is open hoping for the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fearing the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the same time this is the state of the mu'min when they're in a healthy state that their fear of the punishment of Allah <clears throat> is equal to their hope for His mercy at the same time and that He will accept their deeds. And one of the ways we can soften our hearts and benefit during this holy month of Ramadan and even outside of Ramadan is with the Qur'an. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all for becoming far away from the Qur'an. Because you can see Ahl Qur'an, the people who keep the Qur'an in their lives, they have a whole different type of light and insight in how to deal with life. But the further that we get away from the Qur'an, and we don't implement it in our lives, and we don't read it to soften our hearts, our hearts become hard with the other uh, distractions in this worldly life. And the Prophet ﷺ said, A dunya sijin al mu'min wa jannat al kafir. That this life is the sijin or the prison of the believer. And it is the paradise of the disbeliever. This is their paradise because they're unrestrained in their desires. They can chase and do whatever they like. But the mu'min that's practicing and believing in Allah with the correct aqidah. restrains his or herself for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by knowing the commandments that are in the Qur'an and knowing the, the commandments that are in the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and using those that as heavy as guidance in their light in their life to bring light and to instill the fear and a soft heart you don't want a hard heart that's like a rock that when you pour water on it, the water bounces off and the water just splashes on it and has no effect upon the rock. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Baqarah about this type of heart, the hard heart, وَعِيَادٌ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And the Prophet ﷺ and the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala in Majma'een, they used to cry. So this is the characteristics of a man, is that he can cry in fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one time we should not restrain our emotions because you'll, be, you'll receive reward if you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have a soft, open heart and you know your shortcomings and you fear the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hoping for His reward, hoping for success. This is the state of the mu'min. And all of us wish to have this soft heart. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this. Listen to this hadith. An Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Qala qala li nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Iqra alayhi al-Qur'an. Kultu ya Rasulullah. Aqra'u alayka wa alayka unzin. قال إني أحب أن أسمعه من غيري فقرأت عليه سورة النساء حتى جدت إلى هذه الآية فكيف إذا جئنا من كل أمة بشهيد وجئنا بك على هؤلاء شهيدا قال حسبك الآن فالتفت إليه 
فَإِذَا عَيْنَاهُ تَذْرِفَانِ مُتَفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he reported this in Bukhari and Muslim. He said, I said, or the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to me, read to me the Qur'an. He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I should read the Qur'an to you and to you it was revealed? He said, I love to listen to it from other than myself. Then I read something from Surah Al-Nisa or Surah Al-Nisa until I reached the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, How will it be then when we bring from each nation a witness and we bring you as a witness against these people? Then the Prophet ﷺ said, that's sufficient now. Then I looked over at him and his eyes were filled with tears. Ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim. The Quran, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there as guidance for us to strengthen our iman, to soften our hearts, to make us open to worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing good and meeting the rights and obligations of others. Because when we fear Allah, then we do things for Allah then we do righteousness, we do good, we know the rights of others, we treat our family with goodness, we treat our parents with kindness and obedience, we treat our teachers with respect, we teach the elderly, uh, we treat the elderly with respect, we're kind to the youngsters and kind to the children and merciful. When we have a soft heart that is guided by the Quran, but when the heart is hard and not benefiting from the Qur'an, nor reading the Qur'an, then we're hard towards the people. And we don't meet their rights and obligations. And we don't do our rights and responsibilities. And we don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly with, with fear. And as we know, uh, Ramadan is a time for the Qur'an, it's a time when the Qur'an was revealed. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kutuba alaykum siyam kama kutuba alladheena min qablakum la'alakum tatakoon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed the, the, uh, the holy month of Ramadan in this fasting for us so that we would gain taqwa. And this is going to be achieved. One of the means is by reading and contemplating the Quran, reflecting on the Quran, and allowing for it to enter our hearts and soften our hearts. And don't be afraid to cry. As the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of mankind cried. And the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een used to cry often. Abu Bakr was known for just breaking down in tears. And this is from the mercy. And this is from the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the love of his book, of his speech. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala place in our hearts the love for his speech. And the love of his book. And... Bless us to practice Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi wa Sallam.